the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use some brush embroidery for this cake to um, decorate. It's one of the easiest um, royal icing techniques to use, I'd say, because you don't have to be really precise. If you're doing something really precise like candy striping, you might want to have a bit more practice. Again, if you want to practice on the cake board first, you can do that. And you can even use um, um, cutters to mark out a shape. But I'm just going to freehand brush embroider this cake. So with brush embroidery, you're using a piping bag. Again, I've got a number two nozzle and you're going to pipe a shape and then using a damp paintbrush, you just brush down across the top of the icing onto the cake, which creates the kind of like embroidered on effect. So I just need a paintbrush, my paint, my um, piping bag and some cool boiled water um, just for dampening my brush. So I've got everything I need there. So I'm just going to start by making a nice floral pattern. You just take your piping bag again using the gravity rather than trying to draw. And I'm just going to make a very simple floral pattern by piping five sort of random heart-shaped petals. As you can see, I'm not going round in one direction. If you try and go all the way round, it won't line up, it won't be equal. So I'm just going from side to side and then joining that up. It doesn't matter if it's not a perfect flower because I'm going to brush embroider that now. And also it looks really nice if it's a bit kind of loose looking because it's going to go over the whole cake. So I've got my paintbrush and now I'm going to just drag over the top of the line of the icing, just pulling that, pushing that down towards the centre. You do need to do this as well um, straight after piping, so you can't pipe a few flowers and then go over it. You need to do it when the icing's still wet because it doesn't take long to set. Um, so straight away go over this with your brush. Once you feel the brush, brush clogging up, just dip that again into your water and make sure it's just nice and clean. So I'm just kind of changing the angle of my brush so I'm going into the center of the flower. And then you can pipe some really nice centers. You can do really big fat pearls and then glaze them with luster or just a nice little um, collection of dots just to finish. And now I'm gonna join them up. So you can just do some freehand leaves coming away from your flowers and just do, do some stems going in between to join. So I've just piped those on and then perhaps add a couple of leaves in between just until you've filled up all the space, even adding a few um, collections of dots together just to fill any space. And then continue on and start your next, your next flower. But you can just go mad, just completely cover it or you can just do a very small bit of decoration and um, it's really easy once you get a hang of it.